Okay, so today we are going to deal with this image. It's another one of those images that are nothing that we are going to try and turn into something. Uh, I'm really sorry, there are some noise in the background, there are some builders working close to me, but uh, we are going to try and see if this video turns out okay. Welcome to my channel where I do guides for post-processing and other photography related stuff. We are inside on one Raw 2021. As you can see this is an image that's uh, pretty underexposed. It's uh, pretty flat and we are going to try and uh, make something out of this and it's going to be hard and there's going to be trouble I'm sure. I haven't tried to develop this image yet, but uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. I am a bit skeptical if we can make this image into something decent. We are just going to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is the crop because uh, I can't look at this. I'm going to go for freeform actually for once. Uh, let me take that and then we take free form. Right, so I'm moving in a bit here and let's move in even more. Something like that. And we are going to straighten it. It's uh, leaning slightly to the left, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going in just a bit over here as well. So we can get that third there into this area here. And I think that's fine. Let's apply that. All right, so I'm going to try AI Auto, but I'm going to tweak that so we are actually flattening the image because I'm going to make some adjustments with a curve. So let me reset the blacks. And let me, yeah, the contrast is where it should be. And I'm dropping the highlights just a bit. And if you see in the uh, histogram, we don't have anything into the blacks and we don't have anything into the white. So we don't have a proper black and white point. So that's the reason why I'm going into the effects and added, adding a curve. But first I'm going to hit the auto on on the white balance. After the latest update, uh, the uh, white balance auto button has changed the name anyway yeah let's just increase the vibrance just a bit there let's go into effects and we are going to add a curve and we are going to set the white and black point so to create the black point i'm going to go down on the left corner of the curve and i'm going to drag it to the right side this will introduce more black into this image and it should be good around there. Let me hit Alt J to get up the clipping warning. And you can see we are slightly, just slightly crushing the blacks over here. And But that's fine. Uh, some crushed blacks are fine. All right, so let's get some more highlights or whites into this image. So we are pushing the top right corner to the left side that will give us more light and I think I'm going to stop right about there and you can see now that we have lifted the uh, lights on this image let me just uh, hit the before button and this is the after button. So this is the reason why I'm flattening the image first, because I want to create a decent white and black point. And I feel that we do have that now. And now that I have a white and black point, I can actually add another curve, go into that curve and tweak with maybe a basic S curve or something like that. Let me hit Alt plus J on the keyboard again to show the clipping warning uh, yeah that's pretty annoying on one that we always need to activate the clipping warning in between each effect 
or module we are going to so please fix that okay enough complaining i'm going to go up on the highlights but you can see here that i'm clipping so i'm going to go down on the whites just a bit there if i can actually hit it there we are and i'm going to try and tweak the midpoint just a bit that's too much yeah and we are actually doing too much stuff in the shadow so i'm going up a bit on that uh, contrasty shadow point there right so that's so far let's increase or up the shadow slider a bit somewhere around here all right so that brightened up even the highlights and uh, that's a bit weird inside on one when you're upping the shadows you are actually also upping the highlights in capture one that works a lot better but for some reason it's like this in on one photo 2021 i'm going into the local adjustments and i'm going to try and uh, do a luminosity mask to do something with the sky here i don't like it this bright so let me hit the masking options and i'm going to hit the luminosity button i'm going to go up to the mask view mode and i'm going to change the view mode into grayscale then i'm hitting the o button on my keyboard and as you probably know by now uh, black conceals and white reveals so basically that means that everything that is black or the blacker anything in this image is the less from the effect or the adjustment it will let through so if it were 100 percent black it would not let through anything and the brighter uh, things in this image is the more it lets through of the adjustment or the effect uh, luckily we can do some tweaking inside here so if i go to levels the, this slider i can try and tune it so that i change only the things i want to change which in this case is the sky so let's try and do that so i'm going to drag down this highlight slider and you can see already that it's uh, kind of dimming down or <laughs> blackening what was already black and at the same time it's uh, increasing the light of what was already pretty light so i'm going to go down in more here and do it like this maybe tweak it even more and as you can see we are moving in and doing stuff here but that's okay uh we don't need to be afraid of doing that because we can paint that out with a brush which is actually what i'm going to do so we needed to go down pretty far here that's completely okay i'm not worried about that right so now we have a decent luminosity mask and I'm going to paint out the mask from this part of the image, so the foreground and parts of the midground. So I have my brush out. If you don't have your brush, hit B, E on your keyboard. That will bring up the brush. As you can see, I have a plus sign on this brush right now. That means that whenever I'm painting, I will paint in. So I need to change that because I want to paint out. So I'm hitting shift and X for Xerox on my keyboard. That changes this uh, brush to uh, paint out mode. I'm going to make sure that I have the feather on 100, opacity 100 and flow at 100. And I'm simply going to start and paint out. So black conceals and white reveals meaning that what i'm painting out now will not have this adjustment going through 
right. So that's done. Let's hit O on the keyboard to hide the overlay. And you can see that we are really doing some terrible stuff to this uh, sky. Let's tweak that. We cannot go down to negative one. That's too much. But let's go down on the highlights. And I think I'm going to go up a bit on the saturation, but I need to be careful because it's going to look fake really quickly if I go up too much. And I think I want to go up on the magenta as well. So not too much, but something like that. Now this to me looks a bit more realistic. But whenever we are doing stuff like this, we are going to create a halo effect, which we are doing right around the three tops here. This is because of the contrast between the light areas here and the dark areas in the trees. So there's not a lot we can do about that. All right. So yeah, I feel we could actually try the feather. Let's do that. Just increase that feather. Yeah, that actually makes it worse over here. So let's decrease that feather and let's just tweak here to see if there is something we can do about this or not. So did that help? I don't know. Maybe something like this. Yeah, it's not doing a lot. Let's show the overlay again. Just going to paint out away. Yeah, I think I think it's okay. All right. So this is the initial part of this image. We can copy this mask and try and do something in the shadows and stuff like that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to the develop and I'm going to increase the contrast because it's a bit flat right now. And let's go for something like this. And I'm bringing down the haze just a bit to something like this. And I already think this image looks a lot better. Let's see before. And this is the after. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to decrease the exposure later and actually go up just a bit on the shadows. Let's go into the effects and we are going to add uh, a sunshine filter. There we are. And that kind of lifts up everything in the eyes and in the background. And I think that actually works uh, great for this image. Let's just check the before. And this is the after. Yeah, I think that does a good job. And uh, I'm not sure we should do so much more to this image. Mm, we can, of course, do a photo filter, actually. Let's do that. So this is the blue photo filter. So if I go down to about half on the opacity, that does a good job. Uh, if I were going for blue, I would do that. But let's see the orange instead and go down a bit and let's check the without and this is with the orange and I think that kind of works but it's a bit too intense right to something like that and we could of course go in and tweak the colors as well so there are some red over here so we could increase the range and maybe the saturation and this will bring out some more reds over here. And of course, there are some orange here as well. If we increase the range and maybe push that more over to the reds and increase the saturation, something like that, that brings out uh, the toning in the background or in the sky here. And it does a good job actually. And it's a bit too blue in this area. It's a bit too dark and a bit too blue. So I'm actually going to increase the brightness on the blues. And I need to go up a bit. And that should help fix some of the haloing around that treetop. Let's go in and do the same on the aqua or cyan. And let's increase the brightness as well. 
So I think this does a good job. And now to me, it seems like we are a bit heavy on the vibrance. So let's just go down a bit on that vibrance slider here. All right. So I think that's actually a good conversion from this to this. Yeah, I like it. We could go in and do a vignette, but I'm not sure it's going to work on this image, but let's try. So if we do a subtle vignette, yeah, that kind of works. Let's go down just a bit on the brightness. And I think that works. Let's go into the develop, decrease the exposure just a bit to something like that. And let's just go up a bit on the shadows. And it's probably going to seem very dark on your screen, but on my screen, it's not that dark. It's uh, very close to what I saw that day. So I'm pretty happy about that conversion, but uh, let's see, this is the before and this is the after. I like it a lot actually, but let's go up on the shadows just for your screen so you can see it a bit better and i think that's it for this image uh, it's a bit uh, a bit too blue up here i don't like it i would probably add another color enhancer or color adjustment and tweak that even more so just gonna do that real quick here to see if there's something to be done about these blues so something like that and the same here so something like that let's go in let's invert it let's shift x so we get paint in let's just paint that in over here that and go down to the vignette let's hit the b on the keyboard to get the brush and i'm going to paint that out so shift x again and i'm simply going to paint out the vignette from this area and that actually helped a lot so that's good i think that's a lot better right so now this is it for <laughs> this image we are done uh, i think it turned out completely okay uh, if you like this video please hit that like button if you want to watch more from me hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you again goodbye